Yes, hello again. Let's take some time today to look at lubrication of our machines. Just like any piece of equipment, it does need periodic lubrication to keep it running smoothly. Now our headstock on the Grana machines and on the Midas machines is filled with oil. We use a 30 weight non-detergent oil, that's the same thing as compressor oil or lawnmower oil. And right here in the front is a sight gauge where you can see the oil level. If your oil is below halfway on the sight gauge, remove this plug on the back of the headstock and this is where you add your oil. If you want to change the oil, take these four screws out because the oil level is way down here. Pop that off, get your old oil out of there, clean it up a little bit, put a little magnet in the bottom to catch any metal particles in the future, some sealant, put the plate back on, fill it with oil, and you're all ready to go. Again, we use 30 weight non-detergent oil on the machine. Another important area to keep lubricated is your quick change gearbox. Now we're going to use two things here today. We're going to use a spray chain lubricant. This is purchased, uh, we got this at a motorcycle shop because it is a non-fling. It means it stays in place. So you can take your chain lube. Somebody's got my little noodle, but you put the little noodle on here and you just spray up inside here to get the gears really good. Another thing that you use, there is a shaft inside here. If anything's going to wear on your machine, it's going to be this shaft that this slides back and forth on. So as a little extra lubrication, I recommend taking a little grease, a small brush, and you just get a little grease on that brush. You come in through the crack here, and you lubricate this shaft. Now we have some additional lubrication to do here in the pulley box because there's a little oil trough in here. I use my oil can with my 30 weight oil and when you pump oil into the trough here it flows down the trough and drips through onto the top gears of the gearbox. Now also in the end of the machine you have some open gears. That chain lubricant that you used in the front so make sure you don't get it on the belt. You can spray these gears. You see how it goes on almost like a foam. But when it dries, it's really sticky. So that's a quick and easy way to lube those gears in there. The last thing we want to oil on the machine here is going to be our oil buttons. We'll use a pressurized type pump can. A uh, flexible spout is really nice. Here's an example of an oil button here. Push down on the button with the spout, hold it firmly in place, give it a couple squirts, and that's it. Now you have these oil buttons on the table, you've got them up here on the tool post along each side here. There's even a couple right here on the front for your apron, and don't forget the tailstock. Okay? So you keep the 30 weight oil, keep that lubricated well, and your machine will run smoothly. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.